Hey, hi, good to see you back. So this is a small prototype of a robotic fish. What it does is uh, it can float on water and this is the turbidity sensor that has been connected and uh, this is the IR sensor to detect the obstacle. This is Arduino Nano and this is a switch to upload the program onto that. These are the two servos that are driving it. This is a PCB board to uh, cut down the water and uh, move forward. This is a regulator for uh, 5 volts. This is a Duracell battery and don't forget to use a Duracell battery because none other batteries can support the servo motor's uh, demand of voltage. So I have connected a data cable in order to show you the output of what it is going to send through Bluetooth. Bluetooth is kept on the top because uh, the way you, uh, the Bluetooth signal that is to be transmitted will be soaked by the water if it is inside. If it is inside. So what we did is we just projected it on the top. Now I just uh, I just have the code. You can just watch what is happening here. I'll open the serial monitor of Arduino. Just opened it. And you see the turbidity level of water is zero because it's not dipped under water. And uh, it has detected uh, an obstacle saying that if it detects an obstacle, it will move in one direction. And uh, I'll ask the other guy to move around. Let's not keep an obstacle. It moves normally if it does not have an obstacle. Now it has an obstacle. This is the normal movement of the fish. And uh, 1023 value says that the normal movement of it and it moves normally like this. And if I keep an obstacle at the front, that will now uh, move the fish in one direction. See, the fin moves only in one direction so that it deflects towards right. Once if I wrap the fish, you cannot see the electronics. So I showed you the electronics through this video. Good luck. See you next time with a new video. Thank you.